Welcome to Makeshift Game Time. This is game time number four. We are excited to say that we're going to start off with the top fives. Let's right, get after it. Right yeah. after the top five, straight into it. Guess the top five female names. In, in America? I think so. Okay. <laughs> Amanda. Know. No. Samantha. Nope. Sarah. No. Taylor. No. That's a bad I'm start. That's out. a bad start. Megan. No. Kathleen. No. Brutal. Anne. No. <laughs> That's uh, a uh, tough, tough. Kayla. No. Oh, jeez. If I said lazy, what would you say? After? River. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Don't don't tell me. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> um. Oh wait, you might have said one of them. I don't know if you did. Just keep going. What was it? Jennifer. I didn't see Jen say Jennifer, but it's on there. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. That, that's number four. All right, there we go. Um, Jennifer. Um, uh, Nicole. No. W one of them. There's Kayla. like Kayla. No, you already at guessed Kayla. No, I said Kathleen. You also said Kayla. Oh, okay. Well, well. <laughs> Fran. Think like uh, old, not Fran. <laughs> Think like older people. Beth. Uh close there's a lot of different vari that's a variation of Bethlehem it. No, no, no do you know where Beth comes Betty. from no do you know where Beth yeah no. you really what does it come from am I about to educate you? Elizabeth oh Elizabeth Elizabeth I'm pretty yes that's number three on the list <laughs> oh my god uh, Elizabeth um these the, the next three remind me of older type names but the number one overall is pretty popular Helga no that's not no <laughs> Um, I don't, Kim, Kimberly. No. Oh, I thought I was on the money. With I that. said when I say lazy, you don't. Dana. No. Lazy. Yeah, there's a song. Susan. You, you don't know lazy suit. No. I'm I'm shocked. Sometimes you surprise me. Marge. Marge. No, no. No. Veronica. But it starts at you're close. Mar. Ma. <laughs> Mom. No. Molly. No. Ma, what do you What do you mean? You're just saying close. <laughs> Mar Mary. Mary. Yes, Mary's number one on the Let's list. Go. All right, number two and five. Just tell me what the last two are. Number two is Patricia. Patty. Um that. and number five is Linda. You gotta update this list. I feel There's like we no way those are the top five. Those now. the internet was saying That's crazy. All right, all right, give me mine. <laughs> Guess the most popular sports in the world. Um basketball. That's number three. Football. What football? NFL? No. Soccer? Soccer's number one. The NFL's not on there? American, American football's American football. not on there? No. The world's pretty I big, Zach. Like they watch a lot. Uh, yeah, cricket? Cricket's number two. Um, mm, mm. Tennis? Tennis is five. Uh, just number four. Uh, mm, not baseball. Not baseball. Rugby? No. Oh. Rugby's not that big. Um, am I Olympic sport? Swimming, track and field. <laughs> no, no. Think cold. Hockey. Yes. Really? Soccer, cricket, basketball, hockey, tennis. Wow. I'm impressed with myself. Yeah, that was pretty good. Guess the top selling artist of all time. The Beatles. The Beatles are number one. Drake. No. Michael Jackson. No, Michael Jackson is seven on this list. Ooh. Is it older people or is it newer people too? Or a mix. He's number six. Sorry. Taylor Swift. No. It's it's all older people. It's all older people. Uh, the Rolling Stones. No, but no, not a bad guess. Not Madonna. Bad. No. That's wrong direction. Um, is it a rock band? Are there rock bands on there? there? Are, there's two rock bands on here. U2. No. <laughs> what do you mean? U2's huge. They are, but they're not as big as these other two. Uh, I just would never think that you two would be Guns and Roses. No. Oh my. God. Relax, Zach. Relax. <laughs> I'm, I'm really offended today. I don't um, know. Top selling artist. Um, Prince. No, that's again not a bad guess. That one person on this list is an icon like that. You guess Michael Jackson. There's Ozzy Osbourne. No. No. I could have gotten offended again. Oh, Elvis. Him. Elvis Sorry. is number three. Was that that icon that you were talking about? Yes. And then there's two rock bands at four Wait, and five. So what do I have? You have no. the Beatles at one, and you have Elvis Presley at three. Okay. You're not going to get two because I, I, you're just not going to get know it. Who they are? 
No, I'll just tell you because you're never going to okay. get it. Garth Brooks. Okay. That's right? a country artist, but I haven't okay. gotten that. Um, I had no idea. That's shocking. And then the next two are rock bands. Metallica. No. Iron Maiden. No. Van Halen. Mm-mm. Rush. No. When uh, I think rock band, I think this is the number one rock band I would think of first, which is why I'm offended. The Beatles are number one. Uh, yeah, but they're like, they're, yeah. The Rolling Stones. <laughs> no. That's, again, not a bad guess, but they're not even in the top nine. Hmm. Rock bands. They have one of the most famous songs of all time for guitar. ACDC. No. Aerosmith. No. Um, the number four bands. and five on this list. They're both rock bands. They're both rock bands. One's an animal. An animal? Yes. Specifically a bird. The Eagles? Yes, the Eagles are number four. That's crazy. And then number five um, is uh, an object that flies in the sky. Planes. No. <laughs> um, it's kind of blimp looking. Hot air balloon. No. <laughs> it's Led Zeppelin, Brian. It's Led Zeppelin. What? What is a Led Zeppelin? A Zeppelin's like a, like a blimp type of thing. Uh, I didn't know that. That's what I was thinking of Led Zeppelin. It's, is that... Um... Yeah. Don't ask me. <laughs> Hotel California? That's the Eagles. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. But this is a lot there. of time for you on those first. That two. was bad. We'll, we'll, we'll shrink it down. That was bad. I'll help you out a little more. Um, all right. Guess the top five largest fast food chains. Okay. McDonald's. Yes. Number one. Wendy's. No. Burger King. No. Five Guys. No. Obviously not Five Guys. That was a bad guess. <laughs> Sonic. No. That was a bad guess. That was a bad guess. Uh, just naming fast food plates. Checkers. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, chick-fil-a no popeyes no arby's no arby's i've never been to an arby's i've never heard of the person that's been to arby's uh, what do i have mcdonald's <laughs> 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 uh, oh boy this is fun um would you like a clue yeah one is a sandwich place subway subway is number two the third one isn't. I wouldn't really Panera. classify it. No, the third one <laughs> I wouldn't really classify as fast food. Panda Express. No. Shake Shack. Panda Express though. No, not Shake Shack. The third one is more drinks. Johnny Rockets. No, it's Starbucks. <laughs> is the Johnny third Rockets. All okay. right. Uh, the fourth. Dunkin' Donuts. No. Mm. Think chicken for the fourth. Popeyes. No. You said <laughs> Chick Fil A. No. KFC. KFC. And the last Got one? There. You're missing a whole genre of food and for the last one that you didn't... In and out. No. no, they're smaller. Not burgers. Seafood. No. Chipotle. No. Is it Mexican food? No. Is it... It's Italian. Italian food? Sabaros. No. <laughs> that's the one you... I don't places. just saying places. They mean... It means nothing. Go on there's that no, route, though. There's no harm. Ah. Uh, Papa John's. No. Domino's. No. Pizza yes. Hut. All right. This last one. Jeez. Pizza Hut. What a <laughs> tough list. All right. Staying in the realm of food, guess the top five most popular seafoods in the United States. Seafood? Seafood. Shrimp. Shrimp's number Salmon. one. Salmon. Salmon's number two. Uh, tuna. Tuna's number three. There's no... In order. There's no hope in the world. There's nothing that you could say that you're going to get these last... No. Yellowtail. No. White fish. No. Is it a specific type of fish? One of them. It, I think they're both. I don't even know what this fourth one is. <laughs> Bluefin tuna. No. Uh, escargot. That's no. snails. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, um, what's the fancy? If I... No. Fish eggs? What is that called? Caviar? Caviar. Are those fish eggs? Yeah, fish eggs. Oh, you learn something new every day. No. One of them is... A t it's related to cod. They use it in fish and chips often. There's no way you get it. I don't know. Tell me that one. Pollock. No clue. And then the other one, I've no, I know you've heard of the word. I have no idea what it looks like. I don't know what it is. I'm actually embarrassed. That I don't know what it is. It rhymes with jalapia. Tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> tilapia. What is jalapia? I don't, I don't know what it is. Tilapia or tilapia? Tilapia. I okay. said tilapia. I don't okay. know. Okay. Not a big seafood guy. Interesting just, that you would pick. I'm allergic to seafood, so there's some justification here. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. All right. Guess the top five most visited countries. Um, so as in tourism. London. That's a city. 
Countries, you said. I said countries. <laughs> but no, England is not on the list. <laughs> That's good. England. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, Zach. United States. USA is number three. Japan. Japan is not on the list. China. Number four. India. No. Canada. No. Mexico. No. That's anywhere in South America? No. All Europe? Yes. Germany? No. Ireland? No. Switzerland? No. France? Yes. France is number one. Okay, what's, can you remind me? You have France, USA, and China. You need number two and number five. They're both in Europe. Spain? Spain is number two. Yes. Last one. I'm trying to think of... Uh, oh, countries. no. It's like the most famous European country, I would think. One of them. Is it the UK? No. Is the UK a uh, few countries? The United Kingdom? Yeah. No, that's a country. The United Kingdom. I, I'm so stupid. Uh, one like, of the most famous... Italy! Yes, Italy. Oh, <laughs> I was like, oh, it just flew right over here. Oh, there. man. All right. Guess the top five grossing actors. Is Are it, they all guys? They're all guys. Okay, Tom Cruise. No, they're not all guys. One of them's a girl. Okay, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is number five. Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks is number four. Leonardo DiCaprio? No. Will Smith? No. Okay, 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 okay. Let's recenter here. Jennifer Aniston? No. Um, that Margot was, Robbie? No. Um, Chris, Robert De Niro? No. Why no. are you shocked on that? You'll see when it... Okay. Robert... There's a Robert on this list. Pattinson. No. <laughs> what? Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. is number two. So I need number one. And number one and three you need. Is number one a girl? Number three is a girl. Okay. I would have never guessed this, but I guess... Scarlett Johansson? She's number three. Boom! I think it's the Marvel movies. Yeah, probably. It's got to give her... Um, and then who's number one? Al Pacino. No. Um, older? Pretty Pretty old. He's younger than Al Pacino, but he's pretty up. He's getting up there. Pretty old. Sylvester Stallone. No. Um, he's got one of the most iconic like voices. Morgan Freeman. It's not Morgan Freeman. <sighs> I knew based off that hint, I get that guess. But uh, the way he talks, he's in a lot of movies. Should I tell you a quote? Sure. I'm not going to say it like him. Okay. But what does Marcellus Wallace look like? Uh, I don't think I've seen this movie that you're yes, talking you about. Yes, you have. We talked about it today. You've seen it. Is it Pulp Fiction? It is Pulp Fiction. I've never seen Pulp Fiction. You haven't? Yeah, and you ruined it for me <laughs> last time we filmed. What did I say again? You said all three paths come together, and I was like... I oh, well, it's not really ruined. They're, they're not related. All right, uh, all right. I don't even know who's in Pulp Fiction, so just tell me. Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. Yep. That's How does one. he say it? What does Marcellus <laughs> Wallace look like? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty good at spot good. on impressions. That was good. All right. Guess the top five most dangerous countries. Uh, is the United States on there? No. There's more dangerous countries than Iraq. Countries. Iraq is not on there. Uh, but it's around the same area. Saudi Arabia. No. You're going to have a tough time with this one, aren't you? Yeah, there's no. Are they any of the major cities? Cities? Oh, we're in the countries. I'm really struggling today with that one. Geography. Are there any major countries yes. that are... England. No. England, you think England's that dangerous? I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, it's not that dangerous. Is Colombia dangerous? <laughs> Colombia is dangerous, but it's not on the top five. Ah. It's in the top ten, though, I think. Anywhere in South America? No. <clears throat> and, uh, is it, am I all like the Middle Eastern countries? You're all around... There's three. India. No. <laughs> Think about a war that we fought in. Vietnam. No. <laughs> I don't know anything. Uh, a war? There's also one that's a ginormous country. Kind of in the China. news now. No, not China. <laughs> it's kind of in the news now. I re Russia. Yes. You got one. Poland. No. <laughs> Russia's number four. You okay. want me to just tell you the rest? <laughs> uh, give me more hints. The Middle East. Just name any Middle I Eastern don't. Country. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> I've struggled with this stuff. It starts with an A. Afghanistan. Yes, Afghanistan. The second one starts with a Y. Uh, a Y? Yemen. The third oh, one starts yeah. with an S. Uh, I said Saudi Arabia. 
Yeah, I know you did. That's <laughs> not it. It's Syria. And the last one, I don't think you would get because I wouldn't guess it. It's South Sudan. I right. wasn't, that's we, not your specialty. We got to stop exposing me on, on this <laughs> Okay. This topic. Let's do the drafts. Let's get right. right to the drafts. Let's do it. All right, what's first? Food draft. All right. With the first pick in the food draft, I'm taking a steak. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I do like that pick. There's a lot of variety, and yeah. it's better than the other, the other one. I like steak a lot. I'm going to take pizza. Okay. That's the most liked food, I yeah. think, in the world. Yeah, and I think the toppings make pizza. Yeah, but I have steak. <laughs> I'm going to go one-two punch. I'm going to take chicken. Okay. I got steak and chicken. What's your plan? That's fine. I'll go pasta. Pizza pasta. You you weren't expecting me to take that, were you? You're fake. You, you are weren't expecting fake. me to take that. You are fake. <laughs> All right, so you took the two carbs. Yeah, um, and you have the two meats. Yeah, great. So, Wonderful. So it, now dude. we need some variety here. Just because it goes, well, as a side... And I want to carb up. We're going to go rice. Most consumed okay. food in the world. Now I got chicken, rice, and I got steak. You, I got you. I, know, I see your strategy. Yeah. Here. I, oh, I like it. I like it. We're covered. I'm going to go cheeseburgers. Mm. I, I thought you'd let me pass on that no, one. I'm taking cheeseburgers. I thought you were going to take that. <clears throat> I should have. I didn't even see it on my... It's on my list, but I didn't see it. Oh, man. You have like healthy stuff, and I have like all the unhealthy stuff. Well, we're about, <laughs> we're about to dive into the non-healthy. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to take ice cream. Okay. That's, I need I a dessert. I need a dessert. In yeah, that. yeah. You definitely need a dessert. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take tacos. That was a, that was a nice, nice pick. Damn, how did I not have tacos on my list? Oof. Uh, let it slide. I don't know what I'm going to do here because I don't want to take another dessert, but I feel like I have to, <laughs> I'm going to take cookies. I got cookies, ice cream. Yeah. I got rice, I got chicken, I got steak. I know, that's that's good. We feel good about it. It's it's a good team. <clears throat> but I'm going to take sushi. You're not going to like that pick, but I know that the crowd does, and I started liking that pick. You know, um, uh, sushi is imitation crab, which is still seafood, but I could eat it. Sushi? The California roll. Oh. Like, uh, the California roll. What's that's like the, the California only one. Roll? Um, imitation crab. Oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. Interesting. I got, right, cool. I got some stuff in there. I like California roll. Uh, what are we doing next? Bat- sports, <clears throat> sports draft? Or? Sure. All right. The first pick in the sports draft, I'm taking basketball. Horrible pick. I don't know why you would not take the most watched sport in the <laughs> world. <laughs> this was your strategy? It's what the crowd wants. <laughs> I'm taking soccer. Yeah, that's okay. Or football. That's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I I'm going to more... take, take American football. Okay, Which but I love not even in the top five most watched sports in the world. It's fine. Very interesting strategy so far. I'm gonna do it now. No, you're not. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. I thought about it. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take baseball. Okay. I feel like it's. I need the American pastime in there. Um, I love watching That's baseball and the Mets. I'm gonna take a shot right at you. I'm taking golf. Yeah, I was gonna be my second rounder, and I decided against it. Who's the number one golfer in the world right now? Brian? Tiger Woods. Mm, no. Rory McIlroy. No. Uh, he might be one or two. I think John Rahm took back over. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but you don't even know anyone else. I just else. gave you the number mm, one guy. Mm, questionable. Interesting. Mm. We're going to go popularity. That's that's my strategy this draft. We're going to go with hockey. It's, uh, it's yeah. one of the most watched sports in the world. Playoffs are electric. Maybe the best playoffs out of all the sports. I was going to take that next. Um, so I have basketball, American football, and golf. I'm going to go for the crowd here because Zach used that earlier. I'm going to take – no, I'm not. I'm going to take something that I want. I'm taking MMA. MMA. Wow. Mixed martial arts. I don't even think of that as a sport, but it definitely is. That's a good one. Oh. All right. If you're not going to do it, I will. I'm going to take tennis. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of taking. Um, there's more icons in tennis than um, some other sports. Again, <laughs> one of the most watched – <clears throat> it is, it is, it is. I'm a N- Nadal the guy. I'm, yeah, I do. Uh, my last pick, I'm going with, I don't care what the crowd thinks about this last pick, I'm taking ping pong. Oh, table nice. Tennis. I'll have the superior version of that. I'm going to take the fastest growing sport in the world. <laughs> That's a good pickleball. Pick. That's a good I'm pick. I'm taking I like that pick. pickleball. That's a good last pick. Yeah. Mr. Irrelevant. You play your whole life. Wrong. Your whole life. <laughs> <laughs> what other draft? All right, let's do the Thomas draft. Domas. With the first pick. In the Thomas draft, 
I'm going to take Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I think he's... There's two ways it could have went in terms of actors there. I'm going Tom Cruise. Yeah, I think that's that's a, that's a good pick there. You know he does his own stunts? Yeah, he's a beast. He was on the side of the plane. Yeah, that's, that? he's on my team. I know, that's a good pick. I'm going to take Thomas Edison. Yeah. The what light bulb. <clears throat> I was going to quiz you and make sure you knew that. Um, we wouldn't have this. I know. We have the lights. Uh, interesting that you just let this guy fall to me. I'm going to take Tom Brady. Oh, I should have taken that. that was yeah. Oh. No, I'd rather have lights than Tom Brady. Uh, yeah, but he's lights out. <laughs> you like what he did there. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to take another actor. I'm going to take Tom Hanks. That's a good pick. Good, good, good job. Castaway. Good big. What other movies? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Captain Phillips. Captain Phillips. Uh, let's go with the most famous Thomas on this list. Oh, Thomas the Train. Ooh, I like it. Choo choo. Choo choo. Variety. You can do it. I'll take Tom from Tom and Jerry. So you, Tom Cat. He's the villain in that. Yeah, but they're actually friends in the end. You. Spoiler they alert. They love each other. Interesting. If you haven't watched Tom and Jerry by now, then you deserve to be spoiled. <laughs> That's fair. Let's go with uh, Thomas Jefferson. Okay, I got, I got history. Yes, history. I'm, I'm, I'm a so solid, well-rounded team right yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, I like it. I'll, I'll go another actor. I'm gonna take the newbie, Tom Holland. Oh, I didn't even think of him. Yeah, That's I, I like Tom Holland a lot. Steal in the fourth round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm a Mets fan. I have to take him. One of the greatest pitchers of all time, Tom Seaver. Okay. I have to. Okay. My last pick, I'm taking Thomas Shelby. Thomas Shelby. Peaky, Peaky Blinders. The Peaky Blinders. Is that how they say it in the show, or is that just how we That's how people say it. That's how they say it. Okay. By the name of the Peaky Blinders. Thomas Shelby. Great pick. All right. What next? The point guard draft, I'm taking Steph Curry. You heard it. Interesting. And I, I'm not fully against your take. Um, I think we, we have a pretty similar mindset there, but I'm going to take the greatest point guard right now of all time, Magic Johnson. Okay, that's fair. I have the best shooter. You have a 6'9 point guard, which is pretty cool. I'm going to take uh, one of the triple-double kings. I'm taking the big O, Oscar Robertson. Good, good, good. Now it gets interesting. Now it does get interesting. Uh, I'm going to take Isaiah Thomas. That's who I was going to pick next. I think he's, yeah. Yeah. Is that right? I think that's right. Okay. Um, I think that's the right pick. I'm going to go John Stockton. Most assists all time. That's what you do when you're a point guard. Yeah, I probably will put him over Isaiah. But for some reason, he's... I didn't write him down. That is, <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I, yeah, I must have... I saw his name, and I was like, I feel like there's a number three. Oh, jeez. Interesting. Um, let's go with Jerry West. The logo. The logo. He's the logo. I like that pick. I like that pick a lot. I'm going to take a guy who's done it for a while and is still doing it today, Chris Paul. I'm failing myself. I have these ranked in order, and I, I would have I would have taken Chris Paul first. <gasps> I, I have – yes. Yeah. I have them in order. I don't know I, what you're doing, then. I'm going to hit you right in the heart, yeah, Steve Nash. Right. I'm taking Steve. Two-time MVP. Two-time MVP. Only deserved it once. Uh, this is my last pick? Yes. Uh, my last pick, I'm throwing a little curveball. I'm taking Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook in his prime was literally outstanding. Shot like 44%. That's good. And like less than 35% from three. And that was his peak. And he averaged a triple-double. Name another guy who did that. Um, I'll name a guy who's close to doing it, and he's a new, fresher he guy. And he will be top five all-time point guards when all said and done, Luka Doncic. Okay. That's a hot take, but... I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. With the first pick in that state's not touching an ocean draft and taking Colorado. I like that pick. It's continuously voted one of the best places to live. Yeah. Denver. Period. Boulder. I'm going to go a hotter climate. I'm going Arizona. That was my second pick because I like the heat and I golf. think those are the top two picks. That's fair. All right. I have a, a little strategy going in this draft, and we're kind of already veering away from it. Let's go with Nevada. All and right. I'm simply taking it for Las Vegas. Yeah, that was uh, that's why it was on my list. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take Tennessee. Damn. Solely for Nashville. I thought you were going to let it sneak by. <laughs> no, no, no. This is where we start getting thin. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it gets real thin. It's like goes I don't know. I don't know what it's like living without a shore. 
Yeah. I'm going to Illinois. That's um, that Chicago. Was That's who I was debating between. That, yeah. Um, they got Chicago. The Windy City. Yeah. See, this is where it gets really tough. I'm going to go Pennsylvania. They have a few major cities. So there's still still a lot of stuff going on. You're very close to the beach. It's a lot of empty space out it's there. It's a lot of empty space. <laughs> but there's from some cities. There's, there's some, a lot of sports Some teams. mountains. You got some mountains, too. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with one of the places that I think is one of the more pretty places um, in the world. Let's go with Vermont. Okay. I think it's... I, I, I actually never been. <laughs> but, That's but a I've weird seen, take. But I've seen, I've seen a lot of pictures. A lot of friends go on trips up there in the winter. I think compared to the West Coast, it's not even close. You could... You so could I'm going to take Utah. Utah? Zion National Park. Beautiful. My friends have have been there. You're right. I don't know. I don't know what it's like. A, I had no. I, I had no idea where Zion National Park oh, was, well, but I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Uh, let's go with Wisconsin. You got the cheese, <laughs> and you got some great golf courses, uh, and you have the Green Bay Packers. You're going golf. I think that was a steal at five. I don't. I think that was an awful. Pick. It gets cold. They have um the spot. I don't remember the name of the beer. The spotted cow. You've never had it. <laughs> no. I've been to Wisconsin. I'm taking Montana. It's where Yellowstone is. And it's beautiful there. And close to Canada. All right. You need to escape the country. There you go. All right. Fair. First pick in the foursome draft, I'm taking Mount Rushmore. Yep, I did it. That's horrible. That, I did it. That's horrible by you. I mean, you think of four people. They make any four any four people on a list. You, you it's have, Mount Rushmore you of blank. have severely go undersold. Go ahead. So many other options. Take your pick, Zach. The Beatles. That's fine. The most popular foursome of all time. Can you name their n- names? John Lennon, Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr. Good. All right, I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. TMN. Now, now you're talking some sense. Now that now Thank you're you, making Zach. sense. <laughs> Thank you. That's the first one was horrible. Jeez. Um, Tough crowd today. I'm gonna go with a great foursome in television. They're the most iconic four characters in any television show, Seinfeld. All right. Have you ever watched Seinfeld? Yes. I have not. I haven't seen all of it, but I've seen like tons of episodes. Okay. 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 Um, I am going to go ahead and take the Bachelors from The Hangover. I would have wanted them in my in my draft. I'm not gonna lie to you. One of the great comedy movies. Yeah, they're great. Uh, I'm gonna go with you. Might you're gonna tell me this isn't a foursome? And I'm saying they are. Go for it. Go on the up. Incredibles. That's a foursome. They have Jack Jack, but he's oh, not. Yeah, true. He's not a majority of the movie. So the original Incredibles. Yeah. yeah. I'll, <clears throat> I'll I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Fair. I'm gonna go ahead and take Family Guy, Peter, Joe, Quagmire, and Cleveland. The guys. There's more. I the ca- drunken clam. The drunk. Okay. The boys. You take that crow. I thought there, there's so many characters in that show. I've, it's yeah. discrediting the other people by not putting yeah, them those together. Those are the boys. The boys. The, the boys. 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 All right, and we're gonna come back with a with a movie foursome, um, one of the most iconic movie foursomes of all time, The Wizard of Oz. Okay. Classic. My last pick. I'm taking the four for four at Wendy's. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good. You can't beat. It. That was a good pick. Thank you. Um, I I've, finally get some respect out here. Yeah, but I've never ordered it. I've never ordered oh, it. What? No, no, no. Oh, it's great. No. That's all right. Nugs, burger, drink, and something else. I've only gotten like the Baconator and the, the spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. I've never rummed into the four for four. I'm oh. always spending at least $10 when I go to Wendy's. Oh, you could get a cheap deal with the four for four. Well, I could try it out. That's it. What's your last pick? Oh, oh. <laughs> ah! I'm going to go with one that's going to hurt. I guarantee you did not write it down. Can I guess? Yes. The Channel 4 News crew. Correct. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> From Anchorman. They are knew it. <laughs> iconic. I can't believe that. Very good guess. Let's go. What is their net worth, Summer Ray? Summer Ray is definitely not worth too much. I'm going to go $15 million. $8 million. All right. Rob Gronkowski. Gronk has the TV deals now, too. Had a great NFL career. Let's go with $65 million. 45 Close. Steve Aoki. Steve Aoki throws cake at people's faces during That's his shows. Fact. He should be worth a lot more for doing that. <laughs> Let's go with $10 million. $120 million. No way. Yeah, he's loaded. He's been around a long time. That's wild. He's got some hits. Nice. What's their net worth? Neymar. Neymar. The soccer deals are huge. Uh, 150 mil. He is $200 million. Oh, that's what I was going to guess. Yeah. Dwayne Wade. 
Uh, D. Wade, the basketball deals are not up to the soccer deals, but he's been around a while. I'm going to say 120 mil. It's 170 million. Okay. Not too far. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney. See, this is where I don't know if he's more than Neymar or less than Neymar because I don't have much soccer knowledge. 200 million. He's 170 million. He's right there with Dwayne Wade. Okay. What is their net worth? Eli Manning. Uh, Eli's got a lot of deals now, too. I'm going to give him respect. I'm going to say 100 mil. 150. All right. 150 mil. Dan Bilzerian. Um, Dan's got to be worth a lot, but I, I might be completely off with my with my guess here. 300 million? 200 million. Okay. Nice. And Jordan Belfort. Jordan Belfort. I have no idea what he still has in terms of money. Uh, 600 million. 100 million. Yeah, no, it's nowhere close. No. Right. Interesting. What's their net worth? Harry Styles. I think he's close to the 100 million mark. I'm going to say 80. He's 120 million. Oof. Put some respect on his name. Okay. Steve Cohen. That's the owner of the Mets. It's owner of the Mets. It has to be a lot. Oh yeah, it is. Five billion. It's thirteen billion. Oof. Yeah, that was a little show offy for myself. I'm a Mets fan. Emma Watson. I actually have no idea. Sixty million. Eighty-five million. Okay, close. Not bad. Is that is that that one? Uh, what is their net worth? Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un. Let's say. That's got to be a few billion, right? Four billion. Five billion. Nice. Right, not bad. Vladimir Putin. Putin. Uh let's go with something similar. Let's go let's go ten billion. Two hundred billion. I was a little off. And some people say that he is the richest person in the world, but like they can't prove it because it's Russia. Okay. <laughs> That's a you know? good excuse. Uh Mark Zuckerberg. Zuck is up very high. Let's go hundred. No. Let's go forty eight billion. Very good. 54.7 Let's million. Go. Good adjustment. Good, good adjustment. adjustment. Great adjustment. All right. What's their net worth? Bad baby. Bad. I thought you were going to say bad bunny. No. Bad, bad baby. baby. Uh, the Cash me outside. outside. Cash yep. me outside. How about that? Uh, oh, she was like 50 million, right? 50 million? 50 mil. Uh, I, I have her at 20. Okay. That means nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. I don't know, but she's been around a long time. 80 million. No, 100 million. She's 150 million. Okay. Lady Gaga. I would say similar to Nicki Minaj. Probably more. 200 million. She's 320 million. Wow, she's rich. She's She kills it. The meat dress. The meat dress. All right. Oh. Who's better stats without names? All right. I'm going to go. Sure. Who is better stats without names? 4,694 passing yards. 25 passing touchdowns. Nine interceptions. 66% completion. 4,282 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 69% completion. I think I would take number two, but I feel like number one's a better player. So number one is Tom Brady, and number two is Geno Smith. Oh, Geno. Geno had a hell of a year. He did have a great year. Hell of a year. Career passing yards, 80,358, 571 touchdowns, 243 interceptions, 67%. Or 71,000 passing yards, 940, 539 touchdowns, 251 interceptions, 65% completion. That's a lot of numbers, but I think I'm taking the first one. Yes. It's more more touchdown, better touchdown to interception ratio. Yes, I yeah. would say so. And more yards. So that's Drew Brees over Peyton Manning. Really? Yeah. Drew Brees really had those stats. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he, he was the all-time leader at one point. He was the stat guy. Yeah. Crazy. All right, stats without names. Who are you taking? 119 catches, 1,710 yards, seven touchdowns, or 88 catches, 1,496 yards, and 11 touchdowns. Okay, I'm taking the first guy. Yeah, that's... That, that guy seems to get targeted and catch. That's Tyreek Hill over A.J. Brown. Okay. Not as many touchdowns, but he's got the catches. I don't yards. know who I would take after knowing the names. That's a toss-up. I would take Tyreek Hill. I know, but A.J. Brown's great. He's, he's been a beast. 100 catches, 1,516 yards, 14 touchdowns, or 128 catches, 1,809 yards, and 8 touchdowns. Uh, I'd probably go with the second guy, right? Second guy has more yards. Yeah. That is Justin Jefferson over Devontae Adams. Jay Jettis. He had a hell of a year. He did, but Jay I think Jettis. I'd still take Devontae. I probably would too, but... 
Yeah, I don't know. That's a tight one. Six more touchdowns. Who is better stats without names? 1,800 yards, eight touchdowns, 14.1 yards per catch, or 1,964 yards, five touchdowns, 16.1 yards per catch? I'm taking the second one. I'm undervaluing the touchdown, but I would take the yardage. So that's Calvin Johnson's best season Yeah, I'm, compared to Justin Jefferson this season. Very close. That's pretty nuts. It's pretty close. Yeah, wow. Um, okay, next one. 10,344 yards. This is career. 10,344 yards, 69 touchdowns, 12.7 yards per catch, or 9,286 yards, 92 touchdowns, 15 yards per catch. Taking the touchdowns. Touchdowns and yards per the catch. Guy? Yeah. That's Gronk, and the first one was Travis Kelsey. Gronk's been doing it longer. Yeah. So let's, let's, I think Travis Kelsey by the end of his career. Kelsey's we, beating him out in the yards already, too. Yeah, which is pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. All right. Stats without names. Who would you rather have? 1,269 rushing yards, 11 touchdowns, 4.9 yards per carry, or 1,143 rushing yards, eight touchdowns, seven yards per carry. Definitely the second guy. The second guy is Justin Fields. I knew it was. (laughs) And it's over Miles Sanders. Wow. Um, I had no idea Justin Fields ran for that many yards this year. Crazy. That's bizarre. I have him in mind, too. Yeah. Oh, the second one. (laughs) Um, 1,121 rushing yards, two touchdowns, 5.26 yards per carry, or 1,034 rushing yards, seven touchdowns, 3.8 yards per carry. Ooh. I think that I'd go with the first guy, even though he's lacking the touchdowns. Yeah, and that's Aaron Jones over Najee Harris. Yeah, I think I would stick with that. We're probably neglecting the receiving part of Aaron Jones, too, but from a rushing perspective, pretty close. All right. Who would you rather have stats without names, 915 yards, 13 touchdowns, 4.5 yards per carry, or 1,143 yards, 8 touchdowns, 7.1 yards per carry? That's Well, this is the Justin Fields. That's the good stat. Um, <laughs> I would take the second guy based off the yards per carry. And here comes your genuine reaction. Well, that one's Justin Fields. Wow. <laughs> this is nuts. Versus Austin Eckler. Eckler? Yeah. Really? He didn't have that many rushing yards, but he had a lot of touchdowns. And he receives the ball too. Yes. So, uh, Next one. 1,177 yards, 11 touchdowns, 4.4 yards per carry, or 1,139 yards, 8 touchdowns, 4.7 yards per carry. Very close. Yeah, that one's a tough one. Uh, for some reason, I'm leaning too. Okay, that's Christian McCaffrey this season. But the first one was Peyton Hillis's best season. <laughs> that's, Madden, 2012 that's, year. He's uh, the most iconic cover athlete in Madden yes, history. Is. That was his 2010 season. That's great. All right. Stats without names. Who would you rather have? 4,440 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, seven interceptions, 65% completion rate. Okay. Versus 4,280 passing yards, 35 touchdowns, 14 interceptions, 63% completion rate. What was the completion rate on the first one? 65. Okay, I think I'm going with the first guy. The, the interceptions and the is lower. This is discounting rushing. Okay. But that is Jared Goff over Josh Allen. Wow. Yeah, that, Josh Allen, he turns the ball over. Yeah, I think more than most quarterbacks in the NFL, but he wow. still claimed one of the best. Wow. 4,280 passing yards, 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 69.8 completion rate or 4,700 yards, 25 touchdowns, 10 picks, 68% completion rate. I think I'm going the first guy, right? Does that make sense? Yes. And Justin Herbert was hurt for a portion of the year, but it's Geno Smith over Justin Geno Herbert. Geno Smith. We love Geno Smith. Two shockers Geno in my Smith's book. Geno Smith's fan club here. Crazy. All right. 20 questions. Yeah. Let's try it out. I'm going to struggle. Okay. I'm That's not fine. very good at this. I'm going to run out of questions. 20 questions, what am I? Is it alive? No. Okay. Is it bigger than my fist? No. Smaller than my fist then? Okay. It's longer. <laughs> okay. Uh do is it do you own one? Yes. Do I own one? Yes. Do does the majority of people own one? Yes. Okay, that's 5. <laughs> I've gotten nowhere. Does it have a use? Yeah. Uh, do you use it every day? Mm-hmm. 
Is it made out of wood? Some might be, but not primarily. Okay. Sometimes, I guess. Is it a... I'm just going to throw a guess out there. Is it a pencil? No. Is it a pen? No. Okay, that's two guesses. <laughs> that's ten. Um, all right, all right, all right. Can you buy this item at a Staples? I No. Okay. Is it in the kitchen? No. Is it in the house? Yes. Is it in the office? No. Is it in the living room? No. Is it electronic? Some are. Sometimes. I'm not going to get this. That's 16 already. <laughs> you're right. I feel like you're right there. Some are electronic and some are made of wood. Yeah. They're, the it, wood's a rarity. It's inside, right? You said? Yes. Did I get the room or no? No. Okay. It's in a specific room. Is it in the bathroom? Yes. Okay. I have three more questions. Um, is it? Is it a toothbrush? It's a toothbrush brush. Oh! What, what, a, what a play. Let's go. You were really struggling oh, there for a little bit. It's hard. Oh, Damn. I'm going to stink at this. All right. <laughs> 20 questions to guess what I am. Am I inside a house? Uh, yes. Am I in the living room? No. Am I in the bedroom? No. Am I in the bathroom? No. Am I in a room? Yes. <laughs> Stupid waste of a question. Waste of a question. Am I in the kitchen? Yes. Am I a fork? No. Am I a knife? No. Am I a utensil? Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Different question. I'll ask a different question. Yeah. Can I still count I won't, it. I won't count that. Um, am I, do I go in a microwave? No. Am I a cooking item? Yes. That's 10. Oh boy. Am I something that I would know the name of? <laughs> yes. Am I a spatula? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I went down the right route Let's there. Go. Oh, that's I'm huge. Good at this. All right. 20 questions. What am I? Go. Am I in the kitchen? No. <laughs> am I in a house? No. Am I found outside? Yes. Am I living? No. Can you purchase this item? No. <laughs> I'm, okay. Okay. Am I on the roads? No. In nature? Not our nature. Okay. Am I found in a specific like region? No. Like area? Like a... No, so no. Not our nature. I'm not living, right? I said that. Not living. Um, am I... Am I... Um, I have no idea. You can't purchase it? Am I electronic? No. <laughs> Is it man-made? No. Okay. Am I naturally made? Like from nature? No. Is it bigger than my house? Yes. Is it a mountain? No. Am I close? No. I guess that counts as a question. What a waste. A mountain. It's not living. I already said that. No. I would stick with the size. Am I bigger than... Am I in outer space? Yes. Am I a planet? No. Am I a star? No. Mm. Am I a meteor? No. Oh, no. Getting down to the wire here. This is question 19 here. I'm in outer space. Am I a moon? You're the moon. <laughs> You're such a late bloomer on those. Damn, let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. 20 questions to guess what I am. Go. Am I in a house? Uh, sometimes. Am I, uh, am I outside? Uh, no. <laughs> am I bigger than a car? No. Am I smaller than a... Uh... <laughs> that was cool. Am I smaller than me? Yes. Am I smaller than my fist? No. Am I used by people? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Do you... Am I something that's used for entertainment? Not really, no. Am I tangible? Like you can touch it and hold it? Yes. Am I a door? No. <laughs> am I smaller than a door? Yes. That was a waste of a question. I, I don't... <laughs> am I a phone? No. Am I in the garage when I'm in the house? No. <laughs> Am I in a specific room when I'm in the house? Yes. Am I in the kitchen? Yes. Am I a utensil? No. Am I a baking item? Like a, a baking tool? No. A baking machine? No. That's what I meant to say. Am I the sink? No. How many questions do I have left? You have three. 
When you're in the house, you're found in the kitchen, but you're not always in the house. Like you could be found other places, but don't go off that. Am I a sponge? No. <laughs> but you said I can't be found outside. I mean, you can, but it, I've never really seen one outside. I mean, I guess. Am I a cabinet? No. Last oh, question. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dumb question. Immediate regret. Am I a microwave? No. Do you want me to tell you now? Tell me. Your pizza. I've seen pizzas outside. Yeah, but you don't think of pizza outside. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. All right, next one. 20 questions, what am I? Are you alive? No. Are you found inside? Yes. Both, I guess? Majority inside. All right, can you purchase this item? Some of them you can. Is it man-made? Yes. Is it electronic? Yes. Is Most it, of the time. Is it, uh, can you pick it up? No. I'm going to go with the electronic version of it now. Okay. Um, is it, is it, some of them are inside, you said? They're majority inside. Okay. Um, is it a television? No. Oh, I thought you were going to say yes. Is it found in a house? In my house? In your house? Yes, but it's inside. <laughs> Air conditioning. No. <laughs> That's 10. This is um, a tough one. Um, can I purchase it? You've said I can purchase it, right? Sometimes. Most of the time it's already bought. Is there a... Spe Technically. Is it vents? No. <laughs> <laughs> is it... Electronic. Oh. <laughs> um, you're, th I you're thinking of electronic as in like, a, like electricity. Okay. I'm thinking as in like not... Is it bigger than that TV? Depends. Is it tangible? No. I don't know what I'm at. I think I'm at 14. Um, it's not tangible. Am I electric? You asked that question already. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a waste of a question. Um, am I majority? Am I light? No. Am I close? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. There's no way I'm getting this. You were kind of close. Wi-Fi. No. Good guess, though. That was your heading towards the right direction i think bluetooth no no <laughs> um is I this 20 no this is uh 19 um i don't know am i lta no no that's that's that's, that's a firm now i don't know you're I'm you're no what you're is it? a movie a movie. Oh gosh, that was hard. Yeah, electric. That was challenging. You said the TV. I thought you All might. Right. 20 questions to guess what I am. Go. Um, am I smaller than uh, this desk? Yes. Am I found in a house? Uh, yes. Am I only found in a house? No, but usually I would think of it am in, I, in a house. Am I in the, a specific room? I wouldn't say so. Maybe. Am I found in a kitchen? Not, no. Am I found in the living room? Sometimes, yeah. Am I found in the bathroom? No. Am I a TV? Uh, no. Am I a picture? No. Am I a painting? No. Just firing through these questions here. Am I smaller than my fist? No. Am I used by people? Yes. Am I a remote? No. Do I... Am I electronic? Yes. Am I a video game system? Yes. Am I an Xbox? Yes. Yes! I don't know what guy something something about it got me there. Oh, that was crazy. Alright, yeah. you have one more? Do you have one more? No, I don't. I do. Twenty questions to guess what I am, go. Am I bigger than myself? Yeah mm, yes. Am I, I guess. Am yeah. I found in a house? No. Am I found outside? Yes. Am I sports related? Can be, but I would say not really. Can be. Do I swing it? No. <laughs> Can be. Am I found on the beach? No. Am I found on a field? No. Am I a lawnmower? No. Do I have to do with nature? No. Do I have to do... Where am I found outside? It's a good route to go down. Am I found outside of a house? Yeah. 
Like like uh, <laughs> like within the parameters of a house. I sometimes yeah they're found outside. Am I a car? No. Am I a bike? No. Am I a motorcycle? Yes. I'm a beast. Wow, that was great. I stumbled there for a second, all but right. I, I recovered. That was great. All right, that's all we got. That wraps up makeshift game time. I don't even know what the number is. Four, five, I think it's three, four. four. Yeah, but we skipped one, three. so it's it's all messed up. Well, it's been fun. Doesn't matter. It's game time. That's a wrap. See you in the next game time. See ya. Game, game time. time.